Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Premier League predictions for week 34. Week 33 didn't quite go according to plan for some clubs, like to Liverpool only beating Aston Villa 2-0 at Anfield. You know, the likes of that, probably a few shock uh, predictions coming up from me, but anyway guys, let's get straight down to this so guys you know what to do, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and let's go. So the first game I'm going to kick off with is Crystal Palace versus Chelsea. Crystal Palace are one of them clubs that, you know, have really fallen uh, below expectations the past few weeks. Chelsea draw into West Ham. Can't quite remember how I got on with the uh, previous result, I think they won, um, you know, two London clubs going at it this weekend, two very different uh, circumstances for both clubs, so as far as this one goes, I'm going to go for a 1-0 Chelsea win. My next one is Watford versus Norwich. Watford are falling into that trap door, Norwich are already there. Sorry, Watford are falling into that trap door. Norwich are already there. I think Norwich are down. But if I don't win this game, they're mathematically down as well. I do think, if I'm correct. But, you know, Watford were my dark horses from last season. Very were my dark horses at the start of this season, but then very fairly... You know, didn't become my dark horses. Watford have been very disappointing this season on my um, expectations. But two clubs going at it. Norwich got really nothing to play for. I'm going to go for a Norwich win. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 Norwich win. My next one is Arsenal versus Leicester. Arsenal can still qualify for the Champions League. Leicester, you know, are going for that top four spot. With the likes of Arsenal and Leicester going at it, both for the same sort of circumstances for that top four spot, I'm going to predict to Leicester win, and I'm going to predict a 2 1 Leicester win. My next one is Manchester City versus Newcastle. Manchester City loses to Southampton this weekend. After Eric, Eric, I'll probably mispronounce the keeper's name somewhere. Well off his line, and for the Southampton, good goal. Um, going up against a very good Newcastle side, and they haven't done that badly since the Premier League restart. Yes, draw into West Ham this previous week. He just gone after going down twice. So you know, Newcastle definitely got that fighting spirit in them. Um, Man City, as I said, loses Southampton. Nothing really to play for for Man City now. So I'm going to predict a Newcastle win. And I'm going to predict a 2 1 Newcastle win. My next one is Sheffield United versus Wolverhampton. Sheffield United are a team of. You know, with the likes of going for the top four, same as Wolverhampton. Sheffield United drew this weekend to Burnley. Sheffield United are a fairy team that has came up and, you know, proved the doubt was wrong. Same with Wolverhampton last year. But as far as this result goes, I'm going to go for a 2-2 scoreline for that one. My next one is West Ham versus Burnley. West Ham are a team of, you know, in that relegation battle. Burnley are doing their own sort of thing with the likes of, you know, where they are and where they're at. As far as this game goes, I'm going to go for a Burnley win. And I'm going to go for a 1 0 Burnley win. My next one is Brighton versus Liverpool. Liverpool only beating Villa by two goals to nil at Anfield. 
Brighton beat Norwich 1-0 away from home and puts Brighton on 36 points. Liverpool are very hard to summon up since they got the title. I weren't well when uh, Liverpool played Villa. What I've seen and what I did get to see, it weren't the greatest performance by Liverpool, if I'm all honest, in my expectations. But, yeah, this game could be a bit of an iffy one, but I'll go predict a Brighton win, and I'm going to predict a 1-0 Brighton win. My next one is Bournemouth versus Spurs. Bournemouth are very much in that relegation battle. I watched them, they seem to have no confidence whatsoever. Tottenham, on the other hand, fighting for that top four spot. Pretty much an uh, easy game for me to predict this. The Spurs win by two goals to one. My next one is Everton versus Southampton. Everton, you know, yet again fighting for European football. Southampton, a great result um, for Southampton against Manchester City. You're going to very much see the likes of Southampton, you know, giving Everton a real game this midweek. As far as the result goes, I'm going to predict another Saints win, and I'm going to predict a 1 0 Saints win. My last one for the midweek predictions is Aston Villa versus Manchester United. Aston Villa, very much in that trapdoor. Man United, 5 2 win over Bournemouth. But yet again, we all got to solve that game. Man United, I know they seem to have struggled to get going. But I ain't going to change my predictions to the slightest bit. I'm going to go for a Man United win. And I'm going to go for a 3 0 Man United win. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a big fat thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.